we go. Let's see what the Wildcats can do starting in the first quarter. Getting it out to Olivia Meyer in the corner for a big three to get the scoring going. This game was pretty defensive early on. McKenna Bryant coming out of nowhere for a huge block on Alpina's Jade Schultz. Second quarter, good setup to Anna Whipple who gets the easy lay in to keep the Cadillac lead. Later, a long pass to Chessie Berge who nails it from beyond the arc. Wildcats have a response here from Allison Erlob who is going to sink the long two here. Nice shot there, but here's Bryant again. She is able to find her stride with a three. Cadillac cruises in the second half to win 57 to 27. Rivalry matchup in the Big Dipper division. Alcoa Tigers up against Oscoda. Check out this pass from Kelsey Hansen as she finds Lily Billy for the easy two. Great awareness there. Now on to the other side. Izzy Alverson having a great season so far. Knocks down the jumper here. Okay, so you saw Hansen with a nice pass. How about a nice job here attacking to the basket? Well done there. Alcona led 12 to 11 after one, but here come the Owls. Megan Miles is going to swing the pass over to Olivia Toppy from the corner. This would be a long two-pointer, and it's good. Nice shot there by the sophomore. Moments after that, Macy Kellstrom will swing it over to the left as well and find Jessica Montgomery, the freshman, for three, and bang, way to knock down the triple. But, oh, we cannot forget the one and only senior. Lauren Langley doing what she does best by attacking the paint, and she lays it in. Owls up 21-18 at the half. Second half, Megan Miles' pass gets deflected. It becomes a loose ball, and Lauren Langley picks it up, goes with it, gets the bucket in the foul and to put the icing on the cake. Langley is going to swing it over to Macy Kellstrom and her jumper is nothing but net. Owls take down the Tigers by a score of 49 to 27.